Melvin and Howard was one of Jonathan Demme's first films. It was one of the most acclaimed films of the early 80s. And uh, is it really a true story? Well, some say yes, some say no. And it stars uh, Paul Lamatt, uh, Mary Steenburgen, and uh, Jason Robards. So it deals with this uh, unlucky man named uh, Melvin Dumar, um, who's played by uh, Paul Lamatt. He's uh, married, and he has a big on-off relationship with his wife, who's played by Mary Steenburgen. He has uh, um, a kid, another one on the way, and um, yeah, he's always trying to uh, be more successful in life. Successful, trying to make uh, as much money as he can in different jobs and stuff. And uh, the movie opens up with him uh, picking up uh, this man off the, like, uh, pick up this man in the desert. The man is played by Jason Robards, and he, the man claims to be Howard Hughes. Much later on in the film, Melvin receives uh, um, an inheritance. Because of uh, that little bit amount of time that, uh, that Hughes was in the car with Melvin, he receives a large sum of money as inheritance. Of course, uh, um, Melvin doesn't receive everything. It's because um, uh, you know Howard Hughes has some other relatives, so you know he's definitely mentioned in his will. He gets some money in his will, but it's not it's not like an insane amount that uh, other Hughes uh, people are gonna get. So. Because uh, Melvin's encounter with Hughes was so brief, uh, um, people are wondering, you know, is that uh, really, um, is, is it real? Like, is uh, that uh, bit of will that uh, Melvin received it, it is real stuff? Well, you wonder, right? So, um, some of the things that uh, the movie has going for it, it's um, like uh, the whole thing with with uh, Howard Hughes. It's all really well done, but the thing is, it's just it's just the bookends of the film. Like the the beginning is interesting because you know Howard Hughes, and the ending is interesting because you wonder, you know, is that will actually real? But every but the, in in the middle, it's um it just uh it's thin. It, it, it goes places. But it's not really uh, like a, a amazing stuff. The plot doesn't really go places. I mean, like sure, Melvin and his wife go places, but the plot doesn't really thicken, and the characters don't really change a whole lot. I mean, it, it changes just a little bit, but it doesn't really result in anything super duper huge. The most interesting parts of the film are the bookends, the beginning and the end. And I think that if the movie dedicated more time to the Howard Hughes stuff near the end, like like the Howard Hughes uh, estate, the Howard Hughes will, it would have been a much better film because what we get, the majority of the film is just a big on and off relationship with Melvin and his wife. Now, Melvin's wife is played wonderfully by Mary Steenburgen. She won the Oscar that year, very well deserving of it. She makes the movie great. Okay, maybe, maybe great is the wrong word, but you know, she is the best part of the film. I don't think that uh, um, Paul Lamatt and Jason Robards uh, give Oscar worthy performances. I mean, Paul Lamatt's good, but uh, he's not really like, you know, oh my God, right? But Mary Steenburge, on the other hand, even though the movie is very thinly written, she is really, really good. And she's ultimately the reason why I, I like this film. Anybody, I mean, anyone else that would have played Melvin's wife, I don't think they would have done a, that good of a job, but Mary Steenburgen, on the other hand, certainly does. And she's why I'm going to give the movie three stars out of four. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you again next time.